So welcome everyone to this brand new segment of interesting topics where genuinely I am going to talk about like the title says interesting topics which I find interesting so it can be basically it can go from a topic from video games all the way to the paranormal to just topics about government and all those other issues that I might find interesting since I do a lot of research on these kind of things I thought why not and give it a shot you know since uh, I don't really do much uh, human well blog like kind of deals I thought this might be the case this might be a good case to kind of go about it so anyways our first topic actually started when back in I, I believe it was two years ago it was around the time of 4th of July well not around the time exactly but it ended up pretty close around there I was looking for a hotel to stay at because of an anime expo that was going to happen pretty soon at the Los Angeles Convention Center and around the time we found a hotel uh... right now i'm blanking the name but i'm pretty sure i'll give it to you pretty soon uh... The, i think it was a Syria hotel where an incident occurred there and there's, there's been a lot of mystery surrounding this hotel and what i found were pretty pretty interesting facts about it which not a lot of people pay attention to since the cases have been brushed over or simply no one really cares or no one really knows because it's really a very disturbing and pretty mysterious case um, most people don't even know about this it's kind of weird and this is what I want people to bring to attention and topics like this is what I'm really genuinely trying to bring forth uh, but I mean obviously I'm not gonna pressure you to watch this whole video but give it some thought and let me know in the comment sections what you think about this one girl who this I assume I believe they called it a freak accident, but I'm not sure it was. There may be more to this case than we know, but sadly, we will never know at this point because not a lot of people have come forth or don't really know what happened. So let me give you the brief introduction of it. The mysterious case of Emily something. I forget her name. Damn. The case of Alyssa Lamb is mind-boggling from the get-go. From her death all the way to the videos found in the surveillance hotel to the newer hotel management desk and the history of the say of the Salit hotel a 21 year old student from vancouver canada was found dead on the rooftop of the Salit hotel inside the water tanks and if that wasn't strange enough or even confusing enough for you it was ruled as an accident from the drowning and the autopsy showed no rule showed no foul play no drug use and nor no alcohol use for that matter from discovery the downtown la hotel police say the body found in a hotel water tank is that of a 21 year old canadian tourist elisa lamb ktla's eric spillman joins us what a bizarre discovery it was yesterday let me show you some pictures of firefighters on the roof here of the cecil hotel the body was found in a large water tank on the rooftop. People staying at the hotel complained of low water pressure, so a maintenance worker went up to check. He found the naked body of a woman in her 20s at the bottom of one of the tanks. Alyssa Lamb had no drug substance abuse problems or alcohol problems. And by many, not many people knew much about her drinking or any type of drug use. So. It makes it very untimely and very suspicious and very mysterious actually. Her actions right be her actions in the videos led many people to believe she may have been using drugs at the time. But there is no evidence and the autopsy shows that there uh, shows that the evidence of drug use was invalid. The bizarre video and behavior that comes along with the video uh, of her pressing all the buttons on the elevator door and doesn't close. It's strangely enough because it's strange enough. She begins to motion her hands in a very strange manner. And she begins to motion her hands in a very strange manner that otherwise would seem unhuman like. But not to mention she also seems to be talking to someone outside. Seems to be talking outside right before she leaves, making all those motions with her fingers and hands. As she takes off the elevator door closes and after it closes and opens re after it closes and reopens again Alyssa Alyssa Lamb is nowhere to be seen or found somehow gain access to the rooftop and thus 
how her life ended in tragedy. Her body was found two weeks after her death after a guest complained about water tasting and the color. The Salyut Hotel Dark History. It was built in the 19, 1920s to cater to businessmen who would come into town to spend a night or two. The hotel was quickly upstaged by more glamorous hotels located near an infamous Skid Row areas. The hotel became less likely to cater to businessmen and more to murderers. As the reputation went from shifty to sketchy. It became notorious for numerous suicides, murders, and as well as and as well as harboring famous serial killers. The history of the Hoseria Hotel includes two individual serial killers, one named Richard Ramirez and the other Jack Jack Underwedge. Now on death row, Rich Weirs is labeled as a night stalker living in the Seria Hotel in the 1985. In 1985, at the top floor, he was chained. He was charged $14 a night. His murders include his murders include 13 female victims that he stalked, and by the end of each night, he would dump his bloody clothes in the dumpster. At the end of his evening, he would return via back entrance. Jack Underwidge was a journalist covering crimes in LA for Australia magazines in 1991. He was blamed for three killings and prostitutions in Los Angeles while being a guest at the Seria Hotel. Also to no avail. In the 1950s and 60s, the Seria Hotel was, a, was known as a place where people would go to jump out of the hotel windows and commit suicide. Helen Grins in the 1950s leaped off the 7th floor landing on the Seria Hotel on October 22nd, 1954. Julia Moore jumped from the 8th floor window on February 11th, 1962. Polly Olton, 27, jumped from the 9th floor all after an argument with her established husband on October 12th, 1962. Landed on George Ganin, 65, who was walking on the sidewalk, 90 feet below, both were killed instantly. There was also another case where also murder was one of the residents, Pigeon Goldie, all school, a retired telephone operator known for protecting and feeding pigeons in the nearby park, was found dead in a ransacked room on June 4th, 1964. He had been stabbed, strangled, and raped. The crime still remains unsolved wasn't right it, it, there was something wrong the the pressure in the water was terrible the shower was awful the water and when you turn the tap on the water was coming black first for two seconds and then it was going back to normal Lisa Lance case is yet another soldiery addition to the hotel's history and can add, and can lead us to ask what the hell's wrong with that place also in Hollywood news related to this case the movie Dark Waters is solely based on Alyssa Lamb's death. The 2005 hit horror, the main protagonist of the movie appears in the apartment of a young daughter. In the movie, the daughter's name is Celia, obviously quite similar to the Celia Hotel. The ending of the movie is also eerie, relevant to the apartment building elevator, malfunctioning and the ghost of Celia's mother bra braids her hair. Is Elia Lamb's death one of these ritual? One of these ritual murders that are synchronously mirrored to, into Hollywood movies? That is a question you must ask yourself. So you'll see parallels to this movie. Another strange coincidence shortly after discovery of Alyssa Land's body was an outbreak. Termi Olsilis occurred in Skid Row near the Celia Hotel. You probably won't believe the name of the test kit used in this kind of situation. Lam Elsia. LA ruled Alyssa Lamb was an accident. She probably was bipolar and said the questions unanswered. As a reporter states in the video, the, ro the roof is protected by alarm systems and the water tank is difficult to reach. How did Alyssa Lamb reach the area? Also, how did, how did she close the water lid tank? As it is unusual, the case strange death all Authorities have been incredibly secret and non-transparent during the investigation. What truly happened? Why are there so many strange coincidences? Why was Alyssa Lamb acting so strange? Was there a ritualistic aspect to this death? Why is a serial hotel hotbed for these kinds of stories? Is there some paranormal stuff going on in the um, 
involving dark entities that the mystery appears to be whole authorities do not seem to want to be probed any further maybe i should cite her slogan appears in dark waters some mysteries are not meant to be solved so like i stated before this is just another interesting topic that i want to get out there and as well if you enjoyed the video or have any evidence or any kind of deal please just go ahead and leave it in the comment section and next time when we return we will have a different interesting topic and if you have any interesting topics you would like to submit or just want to want me to say something about them go ahead and leave it in the comment section hey guys if you like the video please leave a like and comment and share the video around it shows your support to a lot of fucking people and as always have a good one